Hi, my name is Jason Woodall, and I'm the Director of Commercialization at Skyward Limited. I joined the company last year after about 15 years in the industry focused on survivability. I spent some time at some armor manufacturers as well as a ground vehicle OEM and a Fortune 500 company. Today, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about a project we've been working on for the Navy to integrate ADSB anomaly detection into the cooperative engagement capability. Skyward's primary focus is the survivability of people and their resources. We got our start in 1997, providing live fire test and evaluation services to the Air Force and Navy. Over time, we have evolved to provide a wide range of 3D services, as well as modeling and simulation. In recent years, we have started to augment those services through the use of machine learning to improve understanding of data in UAS and geospatial solutions as a means of collecting or disseminating vital information. Over the years, we've won several SBIR awards. A key notable one is our enhanced powder panels. It was developed under multiple SBIR awards and is currently in production for the CMV 22B Osprey variant that's being used by the Navy. Skyward offers a variety of engineering services. Our test and evaluation team performs a full range of activities from planning, coordination, and pre-test modeling to execution, data analysis, and reporting. Some of the 3D services include scanning and metrology, reverse engineering, and preparation for 3D printing to support several of our other activities, as well as commercial customers who need assistance. Our modeling and simulation group performs analyses to support testing, survivability and lethality assessments, battle damage repair, and other challenges. We recently completed an SBIR to solve a vibroacoustic issue with a flight helmet for the Navy. Another outgrowth from our modeling and simulation work is our Rapid Structural Vulnerability Toolkit. RSVT is an analysis software tool developed for the Air Force with SBIR funds to quickly determine residual strength of damaged structures. Work has just begun on a new direct to phase two SBIR contract to expand its capabilities. In the UAS and geospatial arena, we are wrapping up work on a wildfire management system for the US Department of Agriculture. The system uses a small UAS combined with sensors, radios, and beacons to provide persistent ISR information to the wildfire response team. The system collects and displays imagery of a fire with real-time locations of firefighters in the field. ADSB, or Automatic Dependent Surveillance Broadcast, is a signal used by aircraft to share their positional information with nearby aircraft and air traffic control. The rollout of ADSB as a primary situational awareness tool for pilots and air traffic control has removed the need for predetermined flight corridors. Without defined flight corridors, it can be difficult to determine when an aircraft is behaving in an abnormal way. The Navy's Cooperative Engagement Capability, or CEC, currently depends on rules-based algorithms. The number of aircraft flying around combined with the shift away from predefined corridors necessitates a move to adaptive algorithms, which can continuously learn what is normal and expected in the airspace. Advances in artificial intelligence and machine learning enable the mapping of apparent flight corridors, or those normal pathways that used by aircraft. When normal behavior is understood, the algorithms can be used to identify flights behaving abnormally. Detecting and flagging anomalous behavior automatically will reduce the workload for analysts monitoring in airspace and help them focus on the most critical information. This will improve the situational awareness of naval fleets where ADSB data will be collected and shared by a variety of platforms. The ability to quickly identify potential bad actors and prepare a response as necessary will ensure the safety of the crews operating in those complex environments. Naval ships operate in very complex environments. There are a lot of actors, a lot of signals, a lot of information that must be parsed. It can be difficult to get through that data and determine what is normal behavior and what's abnormal, what should be paid attention to. Skyward's ADSB Adonis, or Anomaly Detection Onboard Identification System, 
uses machine learning to autonomously determine normal behavior and then identify anomalous behavior to alert the crew or analyst so that they can be prepared to respond. The Navy currently uses a lot of active sensors to identify behaviors and determine intent. ADSB is another sensor, a passive sensor that can be used and interrogated to understand uh, intent of potential bad actors in the airspace. The machine learning al algorithms that we use can identify anomalies in an environment that's simply too difficult for humans to identify. Skyward's ADSB Adonis uses custom hardware detectors to collect and process ADSB data broadcast in the airspace. It then communicates that information over to a training server equipped with machine learning algorithms to continuously monitor what is normal behavior. From that, the servers and detectors can identify strange or anomalous behavior and offers up an explanation of why particular flights or behaviors were flagged as anomalous. That information is then transmitted to a display, a common operating picture with visual identification and flags of anomalous behavior. Particular anomalies may include things such as spoofing or jamming or sudden changes in flight behavior. All of this can be done on both the individual flight level, looking at a, at a particular plane and be, its behaviors, or on the global level, looking at all the planes in the airspace to identify outliers within behavior. Our ADSB Adonis system has a number of key features which lend to its success. We chose to develop our own hardware detectors to collect data. This eliminates the risk of unintentional masking that might happen in other data feeds. It also allows us to process information at the edge to reduce bandwidth in forward operating areas. Collection of data in the area of operation enables us to process data and flag anomalous behavior in near real time, minimizing lags in data transfer. Our machine learning algorithms have been trained on real world data with data collectors deployed in several states across the country. These optimized algorithms are able to process information far faster than humans are able to and can detect trends and outliers. The algorithms have been designed to identify anomalies on an individual flight basis, as well as looking within the larger airspace. Along with identification of abnormal behavior, our algorithms provide explanations or reasons why specific flights have been identified as anomalous. This provides the analyst better information in order to make determinations of aircraft intent faster. All of this information is displayed graphically in our common operating picture to help analysts focus on the most important information. Finally, the system has been designed to be scalable. Each of the components has been designed to operate agnostic of the other portions. Our hardware detector can provide data feeds to any server. The algorithms can use any data feed. The COP can display information supplied from other sources. With this sort of forethought, the system can be customized for integration into the CEC or various other use cases. It could also be used to process other types of information. This project was initiated as a phase one SBIR in late 2019. Phase two started in April of 2020 and is anticipated to uh, complete in March of 2022. The current timeline for integration into the CEC has it scheduled as part of the block two, which is currently on track for 2025 integration. As we wait for the phase three decision and further transition to fleet, we are seeking other partners, uh, other agencies such as the FAA, and Department of Homeland Security. The prime target for transition is the CEC program. Integration into that program will require funding and more details on the full system requirements in order to mature the technology. There are several platforms the technology will need to integrate with, as well as coordination with the prime contractor and several other stakeholders. We anticipate work to further develop and test the algorithms to address specific use cases and operational requirements which have not yet been shared with us. As we work to set ourselves up for successful transition into CEC, we are also working to identify other potential uses for the technology. The FAA's air traffic control systems and ADSB data providers are obvious potential customers to ensure quality of data and identify trouble early. 
Several other types of aircraft control customers have been identified, such as the Air Force's deployable ILS, which could benefit from the forward deployable nature of our detectors. Further work is being performed now to prove the usefulness of the technology for Homeland Security operations at our borders in conjunction with our UAS solutions. As we consider the CEC program and other opportunities, we're open to various agreements. With a scalable solution, we would consider selling or licensing the various components to the Navy, other military branches or government entities or contractors. It's likely that any new use case or integration will require some level of maturation and support, making licensing agreements a likely path to success for our customers. Ultimately, our desire is to bring a better understanding of information to our customers in order to solve their problems. We would appreciate the opportunity to talk with you about our ADSB anomaly detection technology or any of the other ways this machine learning technology might help you understand your data. We have a team of machine learning scientists and software programmers ready to help you solve those problems. If you'd like to talk to us about your particular needs, please feel free to call or email me or our Director of Modeling Simulation, Steve Rosencrantz. Thank you for your time.